I'm on the Boulevard Today Cafe. Just had lunch with my buddy Harry Engel, who is the brains behind uh, a lot of things that go on in the Antelope Valley. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Take two. So it's good to see you, Harry. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to like film a little conversation you and I are having that's totally unscripted. And, you know, first thing on the table here, I I'm looking at the world through ro rose-covered glasses. There you go. I'm looking at the world through rose-covered glasses. Anyhow, okay, so yeah. we got that out of the way. My friend Jerry did not appreciate the, the, the abuse of the glasses. That I actually glued something onto the frame? Yeah. Yeah, that was, oh well. It's always good to have an adult in the crowd, isn't it? You know, Chris, we're sitting out here. What's great about this place is that, you know, you got like, you're sort of sitting in this glass bubble and you're looking out on the boulevard and yeah. seeing cars go by. Yes. And, and I heard something I never expected to hear on Lancaster Boulevard. It was kind of like Christmas music. <laughs> All these cars honking because somebody had stopped to talk and, you know, everybody's getting teed off because they're waiting in line and they can't get around them. And it wasn't just a polite little tab. It oh, was no, like it was, beep, 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 beep. Oh, beep, it was beep. multiple cars. Oh, yeah, and then a couple of cars. And so then you don't know if it's like they're waving at somebody or if they're like, hurry up, you've been in a parking spot more than five minutes, or, or if it was just rage. But why can't you sit there and wait a minute for the parking spot to open up? Well, you know, I, you know, we're talking about um, a civility, and we're talking about maybe we need classes in how to act in a crowd. Mayor Rex? <laughs> He's probably watching. There you go. Yeah. But but you know what? It did kind of sound like, you know, one of those big orchestrated yeah. Christmas songs. It was cacophonous, wasn't it? Yeah, so it kind of kind of got me in the holiday mood a little bit. There you go. I was thinking Santa Claus, the, the reindeer, the the clanging bells, and here we are on the boulevard. But have you been down on the boulevard? You know what's spectacular? Oh, you and I were bowling the other night. That was a good time. That was fun. So it's spectacular. Now we, we're putting furniture out front. We're getting some pedestrian traffic. We're getting old businesses excited about being here. We're getting new businesses coming in. Yeah, I did a uh, yoga lesson. Uh, this was, you're on the schedule for next week. Nice haircut, yes. by the way. Yeah, thank you very much. Put that on my notes here. Uh -huh. So, uh, Harry, a nice haircut. Is that what you're going to write? No, yoga. Okay, yeah, yoga next week. But, uh, you know, uh, the guy who gave the lesson said, hey, this is my last lesson here. And a guy's actually, teaching classes. And, and it was a phenomenal yoga class. And he's actually opening up here on the boulevard. Really? Yeah, I thought, well, that's a cool thing. I hope he's got some big windows so people can do a little window shopping. I, I don't like to look at guys doing yoga. Oh, really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but wouldn't it kind of like, you know, all the exercise places, they either have windows or it's all fogged up one or the other. Maybe you're right. You know, I noticed uh, Alan fell like floors on that refrigerator. How about that? It reminded me of, of some early days in the, in the flower world. Yeah, you and I were out in front of an exercise place talking about flowers and about getting out of the store and uh, developing something different, something cheap and something free. That's exactly what it was. And it, this was actually, my recollection, it was the last time we were in an economic sort of a cycle like this. Wow. And we needed, to, two cycles left. we needed to get out of the box. We needed to create some sales. You know, I think part of it was, you know, you've got all these people that uh, buy flowers, and you've got all these people that, that think there may be a price of the premium on flowers, and thought was, well, let's allow people that want to make their own arrangements to buy flowers. Yep. Right? So, cheap and pretty. Cheap and pretty. And so, here we are on the boulevard with Boulevard Flowers. There you go. Boulevard Flowers. We just used the logo that the city came up with, and we're calling it Flowers instead of Florists. Because people, when they type in, they don't type in Florists, they type in Flowers, so... We're putting flowers in here, and it's totally a... So it's just like a little <clears throat> grab and carry kind of... Yeah, they discover it. It's a very pedestrian idea. So put them on their desk. This is not your this first, your first boulevard, boulevard experience. Yeah. As, yeah. As, as I recall, I recall you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you got inspired, inspired uh, uh, by some comments about the new doc around here. Boulevard. Boulevard. And that holiday parade. parade. You had an entry? You had an entry? I might have had, I might have had an entry. I feel like you had an entry. You had a whole bunch of kids, kids, yeah. you know, teenagers, oh, yeah, yeah, dressed yeah. up yeah. as uh, flowers. As flowers, right. They were wearing the, the green uh, jumpsuits and they had a big hat made out big, of roses. Big flower hat. It was my uh, precision, precision uh, dozen rose drill team. Thanks, Thanks for reminding me. Was that a Pronto project? That was one of the Pronto projects. And we've done a bunch of Pronto projects to help make the world a better place, or at least more entertaining. We have. Mm -hmm. You know, you, uh, you did a spectacular one where you, you helped raise a lot of money for, for Rotary. 
That was, yeah. And for some reason, they didn't want the money at first, though. Yeah, it was it was dirty money. It was. Yeah, like I thought it was fun. Isn't that one of the rules about making money? You gotta have fun, and nobody gets hurt. But to touch on a future project, perhaps your idea about nice. Well, you know, I I made some friends in Minnesota. After I got back from Iceland, I wanted to go to another fun place where there were lots of Icelandic people, and it was Minnesota. Okay, don't wave. So, it's not their job to wave. Maybe it's reflective. So, uh, speaking of AV Nice, uh, go to Minnesota, and they have something called Minnesota Nice, and they open doors for you, and they carry your canoe up to the top of the hill, they fix lunch for you, they, they're just nice. So. Just for foreigners? Well, I think yeah, they just yeah. do it, and that's what makes... Minnesota such that's what makes Minnesota such an unusual place and so I'm promoting AV nice I got a friend that has a, uh, a supply business you know I buy nail files from him and, and pens and bumper stickers and he needs the business sure so I'm gonna print up a couple hundred AV nice bumper stickers and we're gonna promote being nice don't honk when you're in line maybe think about the guy that's three cars up and what he's going through you know maybe he's like stop for a kitty cat or something so it'd be nice. It doesn't cost us anything. It improves yeah. the whole region because we're all about the region being a better place to live. Mm -hmm. And, and do you think Lancaster's going to take it on and have Lancaster nice and Palmdale's going to say, hey, we, need a, <laughs> we need to do Lancaster nice. If they're doing Lancaster nice, we need to Palmdale nice. This is wrong, you know? And ours will be bigger. And... <laughs> well, I don't know. That would be I funny. But that's well, how it works. You, know, you come up with an idea and let somebody else run with it. Let them run that, with that way you don't have to do the work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't mind a little bit of work. Yeah. Uh, We've done some of that, huh? Yes, we have. And it's not over yet. So thanks for coming down here and having lunch with me. Chris, it was great. And uh, enjoying the boulevard? Spectacular. You know what? I did the uh, did the bowling thing at Bex the other day. That was great. Lovely place to go hang out. Matter of fact, I want to go hide out there for lunch one of these days for two or three hours and just avoid the world. That would be a great place to... Uh, and, you know, you're going to discover a lot of little places like that, not only in our world, but especially here on the boulevard. I'd like so, to see that happen. The next time you find a place, call me. We'll come over and we'll have another conversation. Fantastic, Chris. Thank you.